Hey everyone, welcome back to Fast Breaks and Breakfast. Welcome back. Well, Leah, it's been like, what, over a couple months since our last video, right? Yeah. And we have to apologize for our being so delinquent. Mm -hmm. um, we've been uh, really busy. Now we're um, back at work uh, doing in-person in, uh, in programming. Well, we started this channel during the, the pandemic, mm -hmm. and we were able to, you know, have a little bit more time to do uh, do videos. Uh, yeah. That's not an excuse. Uh, we we definitely need to step up our game and and uh, and and do more videos and also support these awesome channels. So uh, today we're gonna launch a series of videos that we're gonna be doing yeah. called belated video responses VRs. Mm -hmm. uh, back you know a few months ago, we are, I was uh, really excited about all these wonderful requests for uh, video responses, and right at that time. I, we started back at work doing in-person programming and then all of a sudden I lost track of time. You were traveling through Mexico yeah. and doing all these cool things. But anyway, uh, we didn't ha unfortunately have the time or the opportunity to do that. But we're back now and we're yeah. going to start today by uh, doing a video response to the great channel White Sox fan card collector Mitchell, who back over two months ago asked for his 200 subscriber contest to uh, show a card uh, like a grail card, a card that was has a lot of meaning in your collection, and a card that you, uh, you you know you've been you know striving to collect for quite a while. Yeah. And so this guy, this card that we're gonna show today, uh, in celebration of uh of a White Sox fan card collectors two hundred uh subscriber uh contest, oh which God, which now he's good. he's like close to three hundred at this yeah. point. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, uh, is um uh, so let's get him at three hundred. So if you're not subscribed to a uh, to uh, Mitchell's channel, White Sox uh, Fan Card Collector, please do. We'll go ahead and put his link in this uh, video, yep. in the description of the video. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, uh, the, this actual card has a lot of meaning because uh, of, of the fact that um, when, as a kid, uh, you know, we started collecting. I started collecting at around the age of eight or so, around the, you know, when you started collecting, Leah. Yeah. And uh, one thing that I, I would collect was Cuban baseball players, particularly like Mini Minoso, Tony Oliva, Camino Pascual. We had a, a bunch of Tony Perez, all these, these uh, Cuban players because mm -hmm. uh, I, we came from Cuba, but uh, we, uh, we have, due to, you know, communism and, and politics, uh, we were, my, I was separated from my dad at a, at a young age, and I'd actually meet my dad uh, until I was 12 years old, uh, when we reunited in, Q in the United States here. But anyway, it's a long story. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, uh, we we bonded almost immediately once again once we met when I was 12 because uh, the fact our love for baseball and how he would write us pretty much every month from Cuba with you know stories about uh, baseball and yeah, doing these little the how the Dodgers are doing right, and he was a big Dodger. He's a was a big Dodger fan. Anyway, uh, so um, one of the, the the cards that I always wanted was uh, for uh, one of the great uh, Cuban players called Martin Diego, who uh, is considered you know one of the, the greatest Cuban players to ever play. He played in the Negro Leagues here in the United States, and so he's in the hall. He's uh, one of the few players that's in five Hall of Fames, including the United States, right? Cuba, Dominican Republic. I believe he's in uh, the Hall of Fame in Mexico, and I want to say Venezuela as well, right? Mm -hmm. So um, he's a great player, and uh, I remember as a kid, back in 1976, the year I started collecting, my brother and I started collecting cards, my mom bought us this book at, 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 the, at the Cuban market, which is a history of Cuban baseball, and in here, you have all these great articles of great players. Uh, that played in Cuba, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he, I you, uh, I learned about Roberto Clemente in here, Monte Irving, and, and and all these great players. But one article that I uh, that I really enjoyed and read uh, over a hundred times as a kid was this one on Martin Diego, and how he was a great pitcher and manager in all different types of leagues. Well, anyway, so one of the things that uh, one of the cards that I was looking for for a long time. Was his yeah is his Cuban issue card called the nineteen forty five forty six Caramelo Deportivo card that was uh, released in Cuba. It's uh, one of the 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 uh, candy cards, I guess. Uh, and it's made a you know it's it's a really difficult uh, card. Every once in a while, it would come up on uh, eBay, and I would try to uh, you know get it, but it was usually it uh, 
it didn't come up very often and it was really expensive. So uh, the actual auction came up on in Heritage for one of his cards. And so I, I put a bid on it and I was winning the, 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 the bid the whole time. When it came down to the last like few hours of the bid, I actually went, and this was uh, like around a year and a half ago, I went on a long run and I just had, I took my phone with me and I just kept looking at the, the auction and I was winning the auction all the way to the end. And I actually won the auction for that card. But unfortunately, uh, Heritage Auctions has this time where like uh, they have a extended bidding time. So they end the auction. And then if somebody had bid in the last like five minutes of the auction or something, even though the person, I won the, the actual car, the auction, they extended it for another five minutes. And then, then somebody else then bid. That, and so I I won it. I bid again and to just to increase my bid just in case. And then uh, I won the auction again, and then they extended it another five minutes. <laughs> At the end of the of my run, when I came back, I had thought I had actually won the the card, and it turns out I was outbid in like the third or fourth extension of the auction. So it was really frustrating and stuff like that. But one of the cool things about Heritage Auction, I went on there and looked at the history of the sale of that card, and they have this option where you can actually uh, one the, a buyer of uh, of a of, of a past auction can uh, sell their card once again, or they can accept offers. So I looked at the history of, of, the, of that card being sold, and I was able to find some, a seller or a buyer of that card or owner of that card who had actually uh, was accepting offers for it. And he, I think the auction ended like in 2016 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I just, out of a whim, I, I sent out an offer, what I thought was a fair price. And like around a few days later, they accepted it. And around like around uh, two or three weeks later, I received this beautiful card, this Grail card, in the awesome. mail. So this is a 1945-46 Caramelo Deportivo Martin de Eagle. A like great it, card, isn't that a beautiful card? Well, there's like a scratch in the middle. You kind of see. Oh, it it's there. actually like a little, a little a rip on the card, right? Oh. If you look in the back there, you can see it a little better. But, but the, the edges look really sharp. Yeah, you know, for this uh, being such an old card. Uh, you know, and uh, it's paper thin, but this is a car that you know that we'll always cherish in yeah. our, in our collection, and and is a is actually a a centerpiece in one of our displays here, which uh, hopefully we'll get around to doing a a card room display really soon. Yeah. So, uh, Mitchell, I hope you like this super belated response uh, yeah. to your uh, request uh, a few uh, a few months ago now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, congratulations on two hundred plus. You're almost at 300. Uh, let's uh, let's hope that you get there really soon, buddy. Thank you so much for the opportunity to to share this uh, uh, this really important card in our collection. And uh, as uh, as always, we always like to open a few little packs as when we get the opportunity. So, Leah, I thought we we open this uh, box of 2023 20, Tops Chrome. What do you think? Yep, let's Let, do it. Let's do it, right? Let's see if we can uh, pull something cool out of here. We haven't opened too many packs. Uh, what I'm really excited about is that uh, that 2022 uh, Topps uh, Platinum uh, Chrome cards that c are coming out, that 53 uh, set um, that has uh, already been released. Uh, I did order some boxes of that. Uh, we love last year's 50, uh, 52 set. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be receiving that and we'll be opening that in the channel really soon. Okay, but let for now, let's go ahead and open there. up this Chrome box and see what we can pull. Yep. How many packs are in here? Let's see. Let's see. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, and then you'll have the seventh. No, you can have the seventh. It's fine. Okay, that's cool. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have uh, four cards per pack. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what we can uh, we can pull. This is uh, the 2023 Chrome. All right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull here. Awesome. First card we have here is Gorman. Nolan Gorman. Rookie card. Nice looking cards. Huh? These chromes are just incredibly They're beautiful. They're really shining. Jeremy Peña, the last year's uh, the World Series MVP. Rookie cup card. That's cool. Jeter Downs, rookie card. Oh, we're supposed to be four cards and we're getting five cards here. What the heck? We get an extra card. Isn't that supposed to be good? I think. I don't know. Sean Murphy. He's uh, the catcher for the Braves. And we got a sepia of Kevin Gossman, who's yeah. now uh, with uh, the Blue Jays. I'm 
pretty sure I got he an killed extra it. card too. Do you? Let's yeah. see. Let's see what you got. Okay, I got Stephen Kwan. Kwan. Stephen Kwan rookie cup card. Cool. Spencer Torkelson. These names are hard. Yeah, they are. Detroit Tigers Torkelson. Francisco. I don't know. Is Francisco Alvarez? Alvarez. Okay. Oh, you did get five cards, huh? What yeah. What the heck's going on here? Michael, Michael Con Conforto. Conforto. Conforto Conforto of the Giants and you got a Alex pink parallel Diaz. Uh, Alexis Diaz a rookie Alex. cup card is this numbered? no nope, not numbered cool cards though huh yep. we already got 10 cards out of two packs awesome <laughs> that's a good percentage right there that's like a 20% a increase oh we got uh, some type of a uh, parallel here in the back here of uh, John Young we got uh, Joe Ryan of uh, the twins, we got Francisco Lindor. These are cool cards, huh? Nice and shiny. Vaughn Grissom, rookie card, and Josh Young. What is this? Uh, it's 1988, right? Design, you know? Rookie card? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I think it is. Let's see who okay, you got. Alex Call. Alex Call. Okay, never heard of him. Rookie. Call him for the for the Washington Nationals. There. Call him out. You okay. call him out. Ketil Marte. That's a cool card. That's awesome. He's saluting the crowd. Cor uh, Corbin Burns. Okay, you can Burns. pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> why, why are we getting so many cards? This, is this how many cards are in this? Uh, it says four trading cards. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's there's five. There's Look, you've done three already? Cards. Four or five. Francisco Lindor. Hey, wait a minute. That's the second Lindor we got. What the heck's going on? Let's see if there's a difference between the two. You have good eyesight, Leah. You can tell me real quick. Okay. Do you see any any? Um, I feel like this one this one is like rainbow and this one's red. Okay, yeah, I think you're right. Rainbow, okay, does it, does it say anything different in the back here? No. Oh yeah, it says what is this? Oh. Say? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wait here, let me check. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Last two numbers. And it was the last one you got here. Let's see. This and one is Drew Waters. Drew Waters. A lot of rookies, right? It's almost like Chrome. Is this Chrome update or just Chrome? No, it's just it's Chrome. chrome. Yeah, yeah, a lot of rookie cards in here. Just maybe chrome. we got like a boombox or something. Like a. Yeah, what's it called? A hot box? A hot box. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Because <laughs> yeah. really, there's nothing too crazy so far. Well, this, but, this, but it's kind of cool. I love this that. This box is Look, like, one, one, two, three, four. Okay, no, I got four. I think I saw a Shohei in the back there. <laughs> we got a, a, a Shin, Shintaro. Oh, I thought. Uh, no. Shintaro, okay. We got a Max Meyer rookie card. We got a uh, Mitch Hanniger. And we got a Shohei. That's a cool card. Is that like a refractor or something? What does that say right there, Leah? Is that refractor? What does that say? Chrome. Chrome. Oh, okay. It says that on the back of each card. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Okay. Josh John. Oh, you yeah, got Josh. one too. Yeah. But this it was is in a, like the other version. Yeah, this is kind of strange, huh? Hmm. Yeah, we're getting doubles here. Uh, Garcia, that's the last name. <laughs> yeah, Garcia. Yeah, it is. Uh, CJ Cron. Cron. Oh, I thought yeah. that said corn for a second. <laughs> CJ Corn. JJ Blade. 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 And you got a sepia. Nolan Gorman. Gorman, which another Gorman. Oh, my goodness. All right. Last pack. Last Let's see pack what magic. we get. Awesome. Let's see what we got. Oh, Let's we got another one of these. Uh, one of these uh, inserts there. We got Ivan Herrera. Rookie card. Okay. Bobby Witt Jr. Rookie Cup card. We got a very nice uh, Joe Musgrove. Cool. Awesome. And last card is Xander Bogarts. 1988 design. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this super belated VR and uh, a little chrome uh, box uh, rip. We'll be back in a couple days with another belated VR. Until then, uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. Boom you later. <laughs> Boom you later. <laughs>